delicious looking shrimp casserole right there. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Dave K here today, back at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Today we're going back to Ohana, this time for dinner. You may be asking yourself, Dave, you just came to Ohana a few days ago. What are you doing back at Ohana? We got ourselves a seat for dinner here at Ohana. We couldn't get that opening day dinner. We did get that opening day breakfast, which was exciting, but excited to try dinner. Again, there's a brand new menu here, and we're going to explore the all new menu here at Ohana, at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Let you know what we think of the new food and the new flavors, and just enjoy a relaxing day or evening here at Disney's Polynesian Village. Let's do it. One other thing to note, our reservation here is around 4 p.m., so you'll note that it's a little bit earlier than one might normally eat dinner, but it is an all-you-can-eat style meal, and if we eat it earlier, it's like a dunch, right? We get a lunch and a dinner kind of going on there. That way we'll have a lot of time to digest and not be too full at the end of the night. So I feel like that's a more enjoyable way to do it as opposed to going too late because the busiest reservations are usually around the middle, but glad we're doing it early. What do you think? Do you prefer to eat earlier or later? Let's go check it out. It's a nice time to be indoors too, because we're dodging the rain a little bit. So staying dry as well as eating some great food. Let's do it. As I mentioned in my previous Ohana menu, online at least, it looks like the menu is a little bit different. So I'm worried about that. Used to love those skewers. We'll see how those new things are like the shrimp casserole. I'm expecting it to maybe not be as amazing as the skewers, but hopefully a lot of that stuff will still be the same. I feel like there's not a lot of opportunity to improve that previous menu. So I'm, I'm hoping that it's still similar to that and, and still just as amazing. Mike, what are you thinking? Do you think it's still going to be fantastic? Are you expecting a lot of changes? What do you think? You know, I'm, I'm going into it totally open-minded. I have not really read that much. I've not really looked into it that much. I'm just going into it open-minded, knowing that this has been one of my absolute favorite dining locations at Walt Disney World for a long time, and having it back is just a great feeling. So we're going to go in there, open mind, open heart, get ready for some food. I'm super hungry. All right. Yeah, excited to be back. Let's give it a shot. Dinner time, and they're still cooking back here, but we can't see, for example, that bread ready to grab right on the counter. Hopefully it'll still be that amazing bread. Just they have to go around back to grab it for us, but we'll see. See how it goes. It is nice to see, however, this grill back in action. Oh, look at that. And they got the skewers in front of them, too. So excited to dig in and see if those are still some of the fan favorites over here. Well, let's do it. Here's that view right behind us. Love to see outside that beautiful view of the Magic Kingdom from the distance, looking down at the water. It's not a window seat, but it's towards the center area. That same dome we were in uh, last time, you can see they've got this table right here for us. Yes, a beautiful table with four chairs. So you imagine not too many smaller parties currently, but love it. Let's give it a shot and take a look at that menu. The live music is back here too at Ohana. You can see ukulele being played as we have that musician walking around the venue here playing on his ukulele. Nice and quiet, nothing too loud, but really, really nice to see and to hear. It's also worth noting all those same smoothies there. We're gonna try that stitch one, which looks great. This one, coconut and pineapple, since we loved that Moana one last time. And we heard that things aren't served on the, on the skewers like they used to be. They're cooking the same meats over there on the skewers, but everything's coming in a skillet. There should be a couple separate skillets and we also found out these cheddar bacon biscuits also have jalapeno in them. So cheddar bacon, jalapeno, a little bit spicy, we're told. We'll give it all a shot and keep you posted. Take a look at all of the beautiful food and beverages here. We got the Stitch Smoothie this time. Beautiful job splitting that one up by our hostess here. You can see we each have one Stitch ear, a little umbrella in there. It looks fantastic. So excited to give it a shot and let you know what we think of the one-eared Stitch. Here is that salad right in the middle. We hear there's almond brittle. Perhaps that's what that is in there. Seems like an all new salad here at Ohana. So excited to try that with this vinaigrette here on the side. And then you've got your scones and your biscuits. Thank you very much. With that butter on the side, looks fantastic. These are new, right? They used to have the loaves of bread. I'm very excited for these. You know, I did enjoy the bread quite a bit last time, but I feel like these are gonna be awesome as well. So most definitely a few things to be excited for. Let's hope they're just as amazing or better. Tried that stitch smoothie there. Love that blend of pineapple apple and coconut. They really are refreshing, fruity, and not too sugary. You have, do have a vanilla smoothie flavor, but it doesn't taste extremely sugary as a smoothie. I think I like the Moana one even more than the Stitch one here, but Stitch one's still great as well. Love the combination of the vanilla and the fruity flavors. Just tried some of that salad as well. Pretty much just greens, so maybe I'll try a little bit of that dressing. I always hesitate with a vinegar or a vinaigrette, but we'll give it a shot, let you know what we think. Overall though, Pretty pleased, optimistic, and excited. Let's do it. Just tried those breads that go with the meal here. We had both of that coconut papaya scone 
and the cheddar bacon biscuit, I believe. I wasn't blown away by either of those breaded items. I feel like I, on that one piece, might miss that coconut pineapple bread a little bit because I really didn't feel like you had that much flavor in there. Not a whole lot of fruity flavor to it. Not too much of a strong flavor in there, whether it's a fruity flavor or a lightly breaded flavor. Not bad by any means, but, but not extremely flavorful until you add that honey butter. The honey butter is delicious, but it is honey butter, so maybe, maybe not the healthiest way to go for the breaded items, but not bad. Just not my number one, I think, of the meal. I guess we'll see. Hopefully not my number one of the meal. I do have to give this to the scone, and I think the scone is the winner of the two. Look how soft that is to pull through that one. Just falls apart on you. Love that. Beautifully cooked. But I'm more used to scones being almost like a cookie. So depending upon what you're looking for, it's like a very light bread here. Not too fruity, but hopefully we'll see more fruit flavor in the future. Take a look at those other two appetizer items here. You've got those honey coriander chicken wings right back here, and the pork dumplings tossed in garlic chili sauce. Those look very familiar. Excited to dig into those and let you know what we think. We're getting from those lighter appetizer items into the heavier, more dense, filling, and delicious, most exciting items, if you ask me. Let's do it. So as for the wings and the dumplings here at Ohana, dumplings have a nice, thick meat consistency to them. Plenty of pork distributed throughout. Also a bit of a green onion flavor. And I like that they're dipped in that, what seems like a sweet and sour style sauce. So nice combination of flavors on there, nice bit of flavors. I wouldn't say it's overpoweringly flavorful, but not bad. Most definitely moving in the right direction with this meal here. Then you've got those chicken wings, and I think they are taking first place for right now. A lot like what they used to be like. Love that honey glaze on the outside. Nice, thick, well-cooked chicken all throughout those. You can see a very, very lean in terms of not a lot of bone or a lot of fat on the wing, at least the ones I've had so far. So off to a great start. We'll keep making our way here. I'm sure enjoy a lot more of this and then try the entrees. Take a look at that wing right there. You can see it was just pure meat with the two bones on that. So really enjoy that styling right there. Plenty more for us to enjoy here too. Nice to see some of our old favorites here coming back. Take a look at a few of those entree items. Delicious looking shrimp casserole right there. So excited to dig into that one. Brand new here at Ohana. I can see the shrimp in there, which is exciting. It looks like it's cooked beautifully, falling apart there. And then I think he called this the eight-way chicken, but you've got the kielbasa sausage, those classic noodles in there, the broccoli on top, and all kinds of other accoutrements. We'll have to give both of these skillets a shot and let you know what we think. Looks really, really good. I'm excited to see what the skillets have to offer. Last but certainly not least here, look at that delicious looking teriyaki beef, I believe. Looks so, so good. I think it came straight from the skewers and they put the sauce right on it, which I'm very optimistic about. Haven't tried it yet, but excited to dig in and let you know. Overall, great stuff so far. So we've gone through and tried every entree item here at Ohana. I'm really excited to be back and to be able to try it all and to share it all with you. Let me tell you my highlights and my overall thoughts here. I would say the best ones for me, probably number one, is this teriyaki beef. Love that beef. It reminds me of that classic beef they had before, right there on the skewers. I always liked my meat more thoroughly cooked, more well done, and this is pretty dark on the inside. Not a lot of chewiness in there. I'm able to bite right through with that high density protein. I love that. Love that teriyaki sauce on there too. The Ohana noodles, most definitely in that top tier as well. Love those. Those are a classic, just like they used to be. Most definitely some of the best noodles I feel like you can find on property if you ask me. So two very solid options right there. And then I enjoyed the shrimp casserole. I feel like it is better with pieces of shrimp in it. If you eat some of the other parts, it's more like a vegetable casserole, which is not bad by any means, but it's a nice change of pace, a nice unique meal that you can find here as opposed to other parts of property. Some of the other items were not quite so much my favorites. I thought the chicken and the broccoli, not bad. And it really depends what you like because not everyone has the same sentiment here, which we'll share with you shortly. But I am quite pleased with that beef. I feel like that was the revival of the meal if you ask me. Love those classic egg noodles. The dumplings are pretty classic staple right there too, which I enjoy. An interesting styling of that casserole. I must say overall, there are a lot of things that I miss about the old stylings of Ohana, but it's not a bad restaurant by any means. Depending upon the vibe you're looking for, if you love that beautiful fireworks view, if you wanna try some new things, it's most definitely worth trying for a unique variety of flavors. Mike, you don't love the teriyaki beef quite so much. What are your favorites? What are your thoughts? You know, there are so many pieces of this meal that I really love, and we'll get back to that, we will. But in terms of the beef specifically, I like it, I do. 
but the flavor on the outside doesn't quite match the flavor on the inside for me. I like my beef or steak medium rare. Almost, not rare, but medium rare. And so I actually asked, they're gonna actually make something very special and uh, show us what it tastes like when it's rare. So we get a different flavor sensation and see if that changes the dynamic for me. Overall, it's not, not my favorite part of the meal. The noodles, the chicken wings, those are my favorites. And to give you an idea of what that looks like on the inside, you can see that darker consistency. Again, 100% more my style, but very nice of them to bring us some on the more rare side, more medium side to meet those preferences of those who don't like such a darkly cooked meat. Oh yes, but overall, I would say, personally, I love really nicely cooked meat there. I feel like this one is one of my faves here today. Overall, I'd say it's not the Ohana that it used to be, but it's not bad. I'm glad I had the chance to try it. I could potentially see coming back. It is a little bit more expensive and not my favorite, all-time favorite menu items, but not bad by any means. And I'm glad to see it open once again with the beautiful views of the fireworks, being able to enjoy a relaxing atmosphere at the Polynesian and so much more. Mike, you've had a chance to try the more rare beef. What do you think of that? Worlds of difference, worlds of difference. Please, 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 please ask for the one you want. It doesn't have to be rare, or medium, or it could be medium. Sure. It, it's the world of difference and how they cook it. I love it now. Like it went from like, yeah, I'd skip it to I love it. That's how big of a difference it makes. Definitely ask for it how you want to cook. There you go. Oh yeah, take a look at that bread pudding. It's a classic here at Ohana, but it looks very different from what it used to look like before. This one's a triangle, it used to be a big old loaf. They got that same caramel drizzle, which looks fantastic. Let us give it a shot, let you know what we think. Hope that it lives up to that former glory. I hate to say I feel like this bread pudding is not what it used to be either. I feel like maybe it's not as caramely, not as sweet or delicious, almost has a dulce de leche style sort of milky edge to it like creamy milky bread but not extremely fluffy i think i've had better bread pudding and even some bread pudding that's more of a side as opposed to a dessert so eh, unfortunately not the number one dessert for me or the number one bread pudding for me but you know it's nice to have that sort of styling dessert item back i will most definitely miss the original ohana in many ways hopefully It'll come back someday, we'll see. So perhaps it's not what it used to be, but it's nice to see that they're back here, back at it. And you have the option for Ohana these days. Overall, although it's not the same Ohana it used to be, it's not bad. I'm glad we had the chance to check it out. Chances that I'd go back at the current menu with the current price are kind of slim. I feel like it's expensive for what you get as I wasn't blown away by many of the food items, but it is an experience to be had. If it's a venue you really love to sit at and check out and want to try something new, you can give it a shot. I'd most definitely recommend other spots probably for dinner on property. You got your Sanaz and your Yak and Yetis, maybe your Wave, love the Wave. So many great ones. Even Captain Cook's here downstairs love those quick service menu items, but really depends what you're in the mood for. And I'm looking forward to trying so much more again in the future. In some ways, it is nice that it's buffet style and you get to enjoy all the food that you'd like up there at Ohana, but also in some ways, it can leave you feeling quite full. So I'm glad we had an earlier meal slot, but again, not as incredible food items as we've had in the past. Looking forward to trying some other spots and hopefully seeing some new favorites come up in the future. Mike, your thoughts on that dessert item, the bread pudding. How did you think that compared to what it was like before and any updated reviews or thoughts? The bread pudding was good, it was good, but it was not what it used to be. I think there's something to be said for that. You know, there's, there's <laughs> problem is you go into it, you're like, oh, I remember what this used to be and it's not quite the same and that, that just changes it for you. So, you know, I liked it, I did. I thought it was delicious, it had good flavor, but when, the only thing is you think about the past. And that's where it trips up for a lot of us who love Ohana so much. Here's the thing, if you've never been to Ohana before, this may be your new favorite restaurant, I'm just saying. So it's gonna vary based on your personal preferences. I liked it, but not my favorite at Disney. Take a quick look through the gift shop here downstairs. A few cool different items I'm not sure I've noticed before. Really awesome coconut style mug right here. If you touch it on the outside, it has those hair stylings like coconut hairs. A really, really cool Polynesian Village Resort text on there. and. Look at these tiki cups up here. Wow, really interestingly shaped on the top front there. You can see it kind of sticks out a little bit. Really, really cool to see. Love the new updated styling here on some of these pieces of merch. 
And it looks like some of our Hawaiian style shirts have been updated as well. Look at this Mickey and Minnie Luau here. Love these Mickey Surf Club hats. So many button up shirts here to enjoy the Hawaiian styling. Look at these green ones, Tommy Bahama ones. Really, really cool. Oh, such a faint Mickey ingrained in there. Wow, that's, that's beautiful. Lots of cool stuff to see. And always enjoy seeing those tikis around the gift shop as well. Nice to see them. And now we are at Portillo's. Take a look at Portillo's here. The hot dog stand here. New hot dog restaurant here in Central Florida. I heard it was really good. Let's give it a shot. Here's a look at the inside of Portillo's. Got that really cool diner feel to it. And this recommendation came from several people, not excluding Mike here. Mike, you love Portillo's, yes? Love it, absolutely love it. Especially the spicy chicken sandwich, which is one of the five picks, I think, behind me right there. Really, really good. What are your other favorites? And how do you feel about some of those different shakes and such? The cake shake was really good. It was really, really good. I kind of want to try like a mold or something else. The fries were delicious, but I think the chicken sandwich just took the day. The big beef was good. I would recommend it with the jalapenos or I think it comes with the jalapenos or another another like um, pepper, whatever it is, something spicy with it, which would make it even better. But chicken sandwich, but today I'm actually thinking about trying something different, so we'll see. We'll see. Good. Could I get the beef and cheddar croissant, please? Strawberry malt, please. I'm gonna do the uh, the number five, the Italian so beef and sausage. Uh, sweet pepper. And is that with extra gravy? I'm thinking I'm going to do a large uh, strawberry lemon cake shake. Take a look at this, the lemon cake and the strawberry lemon cake shake. I'm trying the large strawberry lemon cake shake. So many different items to try here today. Excited to share it all with you. So many delicious things. We'll show you once it gets here. Love the boots here and the diner feel. Really appreciate that here at Portillo's. Love that back bench here and its wall panels as we're waiting for our food. Hopefully we'll be ready shortly. Take a look at all the fantastic looking options here on the menu and a bit of history about the dog house or Portillo's here on the back of this menu. Nice to see all this information and enjoy some delicious food after a busy day. Take a look at all of our delicious Portillo's food here. Starting off on this side, you've got the Italian sausage and beef with the sweet peppers, extra gravy. You got a couple shakes here, a strawberry lemon cake shake and a strawberry malt. Not sure which one is which. A couple cups of water. There's your Portillo's fries right there. And the beef and cheddar croissant. Not to be confused with a croissant. This one is, is a croissant. To be, to be precise. So excited to try it all. Let you know what we think. They look great. So we've tried just about everything here from Portillo's. Really loved that Italian sausage and beef combo with the sweet peppers and the extra gravy. That sandwich was fantastic. I feel like that is the winner here today. It almost tasted like a Philly cheesesteak. A great beef, minced, diced, very soft to bite through. Beef style with that thick sausage in there too. Fantastic on that one. The beef and cheese croissant, I thought was not bad, but the flavors were kind of weird together. You know, I like a croissant, a nice buttery croissant, but with the kind of spicy beef flavor, I just didn't feel like they went too well together, but not bad. The fries are fantastic. They do those well. Next time I'd love to try maybe the cheese fries, something like that. And I can't really tell the difference between these two strawberry shakes, which one is the cake shake and which one is the malt. Either way though, they're both good with a strong bit of strawberry flavor in there. If you prefer a very true amount of strawberry, not too sugary in my opinion, I'd say. They're not a bad option, solid for sure, if you're, if you're about that strawberry life. Mike, your thoughts on Portillo's today? I gotta agree with you. The uh, sausage and the beef were delicious. That one is the winner. Still my favorite is the spicy chicken. The cheddar croissant, I, I was expecting something a little bit different. I was. It was It was good. It was good. I wouldn't get that one again. I would get the uh, the sausage and beef one and just about everything else. The malts and the lemon cake shake, very good. Nothing exceptional though. So they're good. I would. I drink it, wouldn't get it again. Tough to put in that category. It tastes fine, not enough strawberry, not enough sweetness in there. I feel like it, it's just like a, like a, a mixture of how they do it. Some like more milky, more cream kind of thing. Just me when it comes to malts and shakes. Uh, in addition, the fry is always good. Love those. If you're here at Portillo's, spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah, that's my favorite. But definitely worth stopping into Portillo's. You'd come back again? 100%. I would 100% come back again. And you know, I want to try other things too, but since it'll be my third trip next time, I would go for the spicy chicken sandwich like that, just because I want to taste that again. And I agree, fantastic quick service spot for that food. Most definitely will be coming back. It's in that competitive tier 
for great food on the go. Thanks so much for helping make it a fantastic day today. I'm glad we have the chance to try an old favorite. Unfortunately, not what it used to be, but really glad we have the chance to try it. And I'm sure so much more amazing stuff to come in the future. Don't forget to make your day an amazing day as well. Make sure you focus on those positive vibes. Look for the silver lining wherever you can. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures. Until next time, play on. Are you expecting a lot of changes? Do you stink it? Think Parlez with your salsa? No, thank you. Thank you, no. Just the salsa.